All right, here we have a, a planning of uh, an activity session, a rotor type question. Let's just read through. Morgan has to plan a day in a nursery. There are four activities and a nap. Uh, the activities are just listed there. There are five sessions in the day, and then down on the table what that looks like is uh, these, these things across the top here. There are four groups of children, and that's these groups down here. Every group must do each activity once. Only one group can do an activity in a session. All the groups must have their nap together between session two and session five. Plan the day for Morgan. Remember to check your answer. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you how this works in case you've not seen questions like this before. You just click and drag. You click and drag uh, the activities to wherever you want them to go um, in order to... And, and what this would mean, for example, is, it, is that in session one, group A is in the playground, then group A goes to play games, and then they play games again. Uh, or another way of reading it is that for session one, so far, you've got group A in the playground, group B doing story time, group C group C drawing and group D also drawing. That's that's how you read this rotor. Uh, I also want to note some of those uh, criteria that they've given us, you know, the, um, the, the, the things that tell us where we need to put the activities. Uh, each group must do each activity once. Now what that looks like, what that means, is that group A needs to have a needs to have one playground, one story time, a drawing, a games and a nap. Because that would mean that group A has done everything once. The next one, only one group can do an activity in the session. And what that means is that I can't have something like this. Because then I've got two people doing the same activity in a session. And it says only one group can do an activity in a session. And the last one, all the groups must have their nap together between session two and session five. So what that'll look like is uh, you know, a whole row of people napping. And in fact, I'm going to leave these three here because between session two and session five, well, session three is between session two and session five, and if they all need to have their nap together, this is what it could look like. Uh, and since this is the most awkward thing to try and timetable, I'm going to do it first and then fit everything else around that. Okay, every group can do each activity once. So let's just sort out group A. Let's get them doing one of everything. Playground, story time, they're already napping, so drawing and games. Good. Um, if only one group can do an activity in a session, then for group B, I just need to make sure that there's no, you know, in session one they can't be in the playground, for example. So let's put story time in there. For session two, they can't be, they can't be doing story time. So let's pick a different one for them to be doing. Then they nap. Session four, they can't be drawing because then there'll be two people in the same session, and they've already done story time and playground, which means the only other option is games. And then the only thing they haven't done is drawing. Good, that's A and B. Now it gets a little more restrictive because for group C, for the first session, they can't be in the playground or doing story time. So let's just put give them drawing. And then the only thing that can go in here is games because they can't be doing story time or playground or drawing for different reasons. So pull, pull games into there. Session four. They can't be doing drawing or games, so let's give them playground because they haven't done that yet. And then the only thing left that they haven't done is story time. And now for group D, there's only one option for each of these things. We don't really get a choice because they can't be doing playground, story time, or drawing. So they need to be doing games. For session two, they can't be doing story time, playground, or games, so they have to be drawing. For session four, same thing with story time. And session five, the only thing left is playground. Okay, and it gives us this helpful advice. It says remember to check your answer, so I'm going to um, back up to what they're telling us. Each group must do each activity once. Well, we were quite careful when we go across to make sure that everyone does everything once, so that one's okay. Only one group can do an activity in a session. So we're looking, are there any repeats in the columns? No. And napping is the exception because all the groups must have their nap together between session two and session five. They've all got it together, and it's definitely between session two and session five. So that's it. That's your rotor question for three marks.